Okay, this is just my thoughts and a review maybe on this uh, Joil Can uh, tripod that I bought off of Amazon for $50. And yeah, it was a little expensive for sure, but I was looking for a, a quality made, small, compact uh, tripod uh, that I could throw in my tour pack and also that I could mount my GoPro on alongside the road and it wouldn't fall forward or fall backwards or fall from one side to the other. And this uh, fits the bill uh, really nicely. Uh, the first thing I noticed when I got it was uh, the quality uh, of it and also uh, the heavy dutiness of it. So this is just my review uh, and um, my thoughts and I'll show you uh, kind of how it uh, operates. Okay, this is what it looked like uh, coming from the factory. You've got your uh, Joel can right here. You've got your precision numbers right here and your knob uh, and your uh, ball up here that rotates around. And uh, right here, you've got your uh, quick release mechanism. This piece goes on top of this with your leveling uh, bubble ball right there. And over here, you've got an iPhone holder that can be mounted down here like this or up here like this. And this thing uh, spins 90 degrees, so it's straight up and down like that. So that's just what it looks like uh, when it comes uh, to you. Okay, I'm going to start to put all this stuff together, starting with this uh, main body with the precision uh, rotation numbers and the rotating ball. And next, we'll just screw on the quick release mechanism. And next, we'll just screw on the uh, iPhone holder. And the iPhone's held in place by a spring-loaded mechanism. Okay, let's get a good quick release. Uh, this just untwist like so. And once it gets so far out, you just uh, lift it off like that. And you put it back on, same thing. Just twist her back on and she's uh, in place. And here's just a quick look at the three different positions you can put the uh, iPhone at. I actually don't use any of this add-on stuff, the iPhone cradle, the quick release, or the Joil can contraption. I've used this tripod for quite a while, so when I went to make this video, I had to round up all this stuff, and I'm fortunate I even found it. Okay, here it is with a GoPro on it, and it stands at the shortest position. It stands at uh, eight and a half inches tall. And here it is with the legs uh, at the shortest position, but the center uh, at the tallest position. And it's standing right at 12 inches tall. And here's another shot of a configuration that it's capable of doing where all three legs are almost totally flat on the ground. And another shot of a configuration that is capable of doing with just slightly up off the ground. Uh, the legs are lockable in all three positions by using this button. You just uh, pull the button out and uh, move the leg up to whatever position you want it and then you push the button back down to lock it in that particular position. And you can take the center section out by just unscrewing it and it just comes apart that easy. And you invert the center section and then now uh, the GoPro can hang on it uh, upside down like this. And this is just another shot of it in the shortest position upside down. And this is just a shot of it uh, with uh, the GoPro upside down and the first legs uh, extended out to the first uh, section. And this is just another shot of it with uh, the legs uh, extended out to the first section and the center section all the way down and the GoPro touching the ground. And here we have the legs extended to the second section with the centerpiece all the way down with the GoPro attached. And you can see it's about 10 inches tall. And here you can see it with the legs extended to the third section with the centerpiece all the way down and the GoPro attached. And it stands about 12 inches tall. And here you can see it with all four leg extensions extended with the center section all the way down with the GoPro attached. And it stands about 14 inches tall. And here I just kind of labeled where the legs were so you could uh, get a clearer picture of it. And here just another uh, picture of uh, how far each leg extends. And one more picture of uh, where the soft foam is and the hard uh, rubber stoppers on the legs. And here's uh, another picture of it with all four legs extended out and the center section extended all the way to the top with the GoPro on it and it stands about uh, 20 inches tall. 
And here's a shot of it on the scale. It weighs uh, 14.6 ounces. Pretty heavy for a little tiny tripod. It's uh, quality made for sure. And you just turn uh, that knob there to lower the center section uh, counterclockwise and she just drops down. And, and you just lift it up and put it whatever position you want and then you retighten it by turning that knob uh, clockwise. And this is just how you compress the legs. You turn this uh, stopper knob uh, counterclockwise just so it clicks. It's about an eighth of an inch. Can't push it any further. And then push it in, an eighth of an inch, turn it again, push it in, and an eighth of an inch, turn and push it in, and an eighth of an inch, turn and push it in. Then, then you turn it uh, clockwise to lock it in position. Uh, and again, here it is again, you turn it an eighth of an inch. Uh, you could strip these out pretty easy if you were too rough with them, so it uh, pays to be pretty gentle with them as you turn it to the left and uh, it, it clicks, and then you tighten them up like that. Uh, again, it's pretty fragile, uh, so uh, I would just be really careful as you click them and push them in like that, and then again, clockwise to tighten it up. Okay, well that does it for the, uh, like I say, the Joil Can Compact Heavy Duty Tripod.